Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Simple Gaming here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your very cartoon profile picture because um I just learned this new method, so I'm trying to teach you guys how to do it because I've been searching for a video and I finally found it, and I'm gonna pass what I learned from that video to you guys. And if you don't know what a cartoon picture is, um I'll show you right now. So it's pretty much like a slender man or something like that. It has no face. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download paint on it. I'm not going to be using Photoshop for this tutorial. So it's better for some of you guys because some of you guys don't have Photoshop. So this is a free alternative to Photoshop. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So once you download it, paint on it, open it up. Go to file. Go to um, open. And then you want to select an image you want to do. So as you see here, I took a picture. <laughs> I look pretty crazy right there. I know the, the quality of the picture is terrible. It's because I use my camera, PlayStation 3 camera. It's not the best. It has like some pixel issues and stuff like that. So once you chose your picture, um, you want to open it, create a new layer. And we're going to name this layer um, Trace. Tracing. We're going to name it Tracing. You don't have to do this, but for tutorial pur purposes, I'm going to do it. So then you want to select this little line slash curve thing and you want to start tracing around the whole picture as you see right here. Um, if you have a better quality picture it's going to be easier for you guys but since I have like some black shadows like around right here you can barely see I'm going to try to estimate where it's at. So yeah so let's get straight into it. Everybody ask me how I know. I So then right here I'm drawing some texture in my hair, just making random shapes in my hair. Um, if you have a better camera quality, you'll be able to see some details in your hair. So just drawing some um, simple details in my hair, like some shapes in my hair, some random shapes. So then once you finish um, doing everything to your picture, tracing it out and drawing some details in your hair, you want to see how it looks, how it came out. As you see, mine came out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of this, how it looks, how it came out. So you want to um, create a new layer. So then you want to select all your hair or mo most of your hair like this. I don't select all my hair. 
And so once you select all your hair, you want to press Control C. Then you go to a new layer and press Control V. And as you see there, you get a new la new hair layer. And you just move one move it around like this, like that. And then I know it's gonna look a little bit confusing. Um, but then we will delete some stuff. So then you want to go to the eraser tool once you press Enter, and you want to erase some stuff. I'm just gonna choose to make this bigger and just erase some stuff so it can be less confusing. I'll erase this little bottom line right here, erase this where the headphones are at or the headset, and then that's pretty much it for the hair. Then the next step is we want to create um. We want to create um, or we want to add color to our picture. So this is mostly it. The fun. This is the, the fun part. So uh, you want to choose a paint bucket, and then you want to choose your skin color. Uh, what I do for my skin color, I choose white, and then I choose. I go. I hover over this little section right here, and then I just paint bucket the face part. There we go, and then I paint bucket this, and there we go. That's our face. Uh, color you're not gonna put any eyes or stuff on it. We're just gonna leave it like that. That's how I made it So then the next thing is we want to add their hair color So then um, we go over here change the color. I choose this kind of gray right here Like gray and then I make it a little bit darker Oops, I messed it up Now I don't want to change the color Make sure I make a new paint bucket right here and then change the color There we go like that Make it a little bit dark like that. That's that's good. That's amazing actually. So then you wanna so once you finish this hair part, you wanna go to a new layer or the where you copy the the last layer you created where you copy the hair and then you moved it around so you wanna choose that layer. You wanna paint bucket that uh paint bucket right here. So then you wanna change make sure to change the colors so it can't look the same. Move this under this one like that. And try to make it fit. Don't make it too light or too dark. Oh, I finished the paint book. I finished the paint bucket by accident. Huh. There we go. There you go. I think that looks good. And just choose these colors. What kind of colors you want them to be? Just add some texture into your um hair. So then once you finish adding um, some detail or texture into your hair, um, as you see, I did them grayish shades, black shades, and stuff like that. Now, let's move on to my headsets. Um, if you don't have this, if you don't have headsets on in your picture, you don't have to do this. But since I have headsets, I'm going to do this. And my um, shades are black and blue. So I'm going to be doing this right now. For actually forgot that I have to do this. I need to create, uh, make sure the thing is right. Black, there you go. I need to create, uh, the part where it's blue at. Make a little roundish shape. Let me actually zoom in. And then. Like that. And like that, there we go. That's where the blue part goes in. So let me zoom it out. There we go. Let's choose the uh, color blue. Paint bucket that part. There we go. That part. There we go. So that's where the blue guard, the little blue outline is in my headset. Um, of course, this is different for you guys if you have a different pair of headsets. Uh, choose any color you want for your headsets. It doesn't really matter or it could be the color favorite color you want for your headsets Or if as I said if you don't have a headset, you don't have to do this step. So And then my headsets are black. Oops Don't change color Paint bucket this side make this black and then this black and then right here I'll make it a little bit grayish for the little ear cups or little on foam thing 
There we go. And there, there's my headsets. It looks pretty sick. So then uh, I'm gonna move on to my sweater or my shirt I have right now. So my sweater is a pretty. It's like a it's an Adidas bluish colorish sort of thing. So it's about darkest bluish, like around right there is good. So then we just paint back my whole sweater. Oops. Oopsie daisies. So make sure tolerance. Now for the shirt part, make sure there's no little line separating like around right here. Um, that's what happened to me. I just as as you just saw, I had some trouble. It was outlining the background. You don't want to outline the background because you might want to add a different background in the back. So mine is around uh around right there looks good. That's my that's my sweater. That's how it looks. So then that's pretty much it. Um, this is how you make your very own cartoonish logo or person. So um, I made one and I put it for my Twitter profile picture, the one I mostly use, the one that has my name on it, and I'll put that in the description. So um, that's how you make your very own cartoonish, um, your very own cartoonish, your very own cartoon logo picture, whatever you guys want to call it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.